Good evening and welcome to the lab. Come see what's on the slab. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fort Jones. One second. Dane Fort Jones. I said, I said, no. I'll, I'll wait till you do it properly. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> you, you pull that shit on me. I'm going to pull it on you. Uh, Jason Amherst. Mm. What the hell was that? Was that the that sounded like the Sonic um, UK boo? And uh, that, that's that, that's Zelda error. Also, Ashley oh, Miller. Ashley Miller's also here. <laughs> yeah, it's murder on the dance floor. So anyway, I was saying this off air, uh -huh. but it was gonna get close to the whole emotional damage. I was actually starting to watch. Uh, I think his name is Stephen Hugh. Steve, Steve, something Steve, like that, yeah. Stephen, he, uh, yeah Stephen, he. Something to that extent. And he's yeah. like, the, Welcome to what? the Failure Cafe. That was the Failure Cafe. It just happened. Something like that. Like, my son just got a job at accounting firm. He only nine years old. Uh, yeah. What is your what achievement? The... Oh, I'm the face uh, of Asian I was watching... Porn. There was actually one sketch where it was some red envelope thing, which I'm guessing is something in the Chinese New Year. Oh, okay. And some friend of his dad's is like, "Oh, he gave me two thousand dollars." Two thousand dollars? What the hell? He's nine. What's he gonna do? Buy chocolate milk for his entire class? <laughs> some like that. Yeah. Um. Excuse me. What? From what I, from what I'm to understand, with Chinese New Year, like the red en envelopes, they just fill with cash and they just give them to family and friends. So it's like, yeah, yay, that chi China is living in 2050. I mean, it's it's basically just a holiday to gift shit to uh, relatives, similar to Christmas, you know. But instead of like having to put thought into it, it's just here. Here's an envelope full of money. You know what? And and I know this sounds like a hedonistic thing. Um, sometimes people don't really know what they want gift wise. So even like even with my family, like if there's if I can't think of something specific that I want, a gift card or like a uh, cash is fine. Because then at Jesus least Christ, it's like this fucking thing. Oh, as they say, hey. cash is king. <laughs> but it's like I I use like if I get like a let's say like an eBay gift card there's like a vinyl record that I could purchase or maybe like some rock memorabilia that's you know on the cheap like a a, a certain punk band's uh, like promo photo and like a letter that they have for like their review from their record company you know shit like that or just use it to buy socks. Because it's like, nobody knows what socks I like. I, I have specific socks that I like. But then again, when I try to buy gifts for people, I try to buy something that they need and something God that damn they it. want. Like, we all need calendars. But we all want boobies. To capitalism. The yeah. cause of and solution to... I walk into the fashion thing. We all love booby. I mean, booby juice, wrong? booby juice, booby juice. Oh wait, Billy can't make it. Never mind. Yeah, he's seen his family today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, uh, as I was jokingly saying, though, to capitalism, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Yay! Disco stew doesn't advertise. So this is the quake. The yes. quacky. Mm. Why are you why are you saying it like you didn't know that that was quake? Well, I don't I don't watch very many quake uh, related clips. It's like I'm familiar with it. I know that sometimes the quake engine is referenced in the Unreal tournament uh, style of play where it's like you run around and shoot things the irony here is that ashley has just mentioned two different games with two different 
uh, engines. Unreal is not on the Quake engine. Unreal is on the Unreal engine. That's why it's Unreal. Well, it's similar style, different Ish. things. I mean, all, I mean, you could you could argue you could argue that all first-person shooters are similar. In I mean, certain no, ways. Quake is mostly uh, high-speed shooty shooty versus uh, you know Unreal, which is more. I wouldn't say it's high-speed. It's it's more uh, methodical. And it's, it's true. Approach. I've never actually played Unreal. Strangely, I, I've so. played like a few of them. Like I, I played like the PS2 one. Say, I've never played the first I played, one. Like I think 2000. Yeah, but I never played the first one. The first one, one is supposedly yeah. really good and actually better than Quake, supposedly. But uh, mm. that that could be a bridge we cross when we get to it. There had just been a video I remember seeing in the past of this porn star who was like a really big Unreal Tournament fan. That so much so the developers and mind you she played it on pc um they gave her like her own character skin so it's like here's here's this mattress pounder you know signing like vhs's of her getting you know spit roasted and she's a gamer and it's back when she's like i really love unreal tournament it's like it's one of the best games I've ever played on the PC, and she knew her shit. So, yeah, that's that's kind of a core memory unlocked. Unreal tournament. Unreal tournament. Oh man, English, I can't use it. Uh, Unreal tournament is usually described as one of the best first-person shooter games you'll find. Fuck off. Yeah, with this I, I did like fiend it. Fiend I did like it a bit. <laughs> You and your fiend bullshit. To... Another game that I liked back in the day uh, was uh, Tribes. I'm not as big of a fan of Tribes. The only Tribes I, I, like, I played like what? ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> I like Two Tribes by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Is that any different? Did you all... So... Yeah, Justin Timberlake. Let's talk about it. He is no he longer. Is going... He is out of sync now. <laughs> His mugshot mug looked like he was crying a river. <laughs> Quick, someone call someone call Jimmy Fallon to be his sponsor. It's because Jimmy Fallon had a bad alcohol problem too. You know why? Why can't uh, why can't these celebrities just afford freaking chauffeurs and shit? They're rich enough. Oh, I fucking, no, I go fucking hate boars. I fucking hate boars. They got these homing bonds. Homing bombs, homing bombs I hate. <clears throat> just fucking don't drink at all uh, in public. But you know what do I know? I drink at home. Oh, wow. Uh, because I put too much fuck. alcohol in my drinks. Meanwhile, uh, after we got done recording yesterday, we said his name a lot, and he certainly appeared. I believe Ooh. in Joe Hendry. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the clip of him on NXT. Like, I sent a message to uh, the Reverend Tom Bryce who's the, the head of a Sportswire radio. And I'm like, dude, are you fucking serious? Joe Hendry's in NXT? And he's like, yep. And I I hate the NXT thing. NXTNA is a thing. Yep. I guess. Bitch, bitch the what? Joe, Joe Henry is under contract with TNA. So that was a crossover. Yep. Now, meanwhile... Uh, the prohibited portal has been opened. That's right. Meanwhile, Tony Khan's like, no, only we can do forbidden door stuff. Stop it. I like the forbidden butt stuff. Tony, you have a door. 
But WWE, Tony, baby, Tony you pens. have a pen. You have a pineapple. Pineapple pen. <laughs> like Triple H, Triple H is breaking ground. He is infinity stoned up. Which is Portals great, which is funny three. because Triple H isn't even in charge of NXT. Shawn Michaels is. Shawn <laughs> is. Well, you know, DX, you, you've seen one, you've seen the other one. Does anybody, does anybody else find it ironic that DX, which was originally meant to be like, oh, we're against the big bad management and management is uncool and now we're we are cool guys. now we are the big bad management and we're management. cool and we're the cool guys <laughs> remember when we were 50 and we were doing dx again <laughs> but here's here's my take on the whole dx thing they were anti-corporate they were anti-establishment and they took over the fucking establishment so uh, they were anti disestablishmentarianism. Hey, do 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 do. Good luck spelling that. Uh, by the way, A N T I D I S E S T A B L I S H M E N T A R I N M I M I S M. Suck my dick. Okay. I'm a shark. Okay, hang on. Roll, bro. Uh -oh. I I should get my dick sucked just for knowing how to spell anti disestablishmentarianism. Shark. Dick. Well, uh, I mean, Listen, you say know, shark it dick. Is all the, all the girls right? over in wherever <laughs> you live. All the girls in cell block D. No wait. <laughs> wait, he can spell anti disestablishmentarianism. It's Google time. <laughs> 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 uh, it's <laughs> Wait. Wait. Baby's black balloon makes a fly. I have quick saved, so I don't. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please shut the fuck up. Uh, There's a squirrel outside that's been antagonizing it's the, a the dog. It can't understand you. No, she can understand shit. She can actually understand a yeah, little bit. Yeah, she can understand family. specifically shit. And then she does it. He looks, she looks over and she's a big dude. He's saying, roar, roar, I understand that. I understand shit. I'm going to shit right now. Look, dogs can understand. If you teach them and show them actions, they can understand. Just because she doesn't have opposable thumbs can't pick up the phone, can't order a Rosetta Stone, can't study it, and can't speak English doesn't mean that she doesn't understand. Okay, all right. Work the shaft. Work the shaft. You're fucking gross. Look who's talking. Uh, there's a difference. I, I do not really joke about bestiality. I may joke about werebear sex, but there's a difference. That's lycanthropy. Look at you. Look at you using semantics like a like a big oh. girl. <laughs> I saved right before the exit portal. I'm a silly bitch. Uh, save now. There we go. So what is this Uncle Howdy welcome back Cotter bullshit on WWE? It's uh, the tribute to, uh, to Wyatt. It's Wyatt Six. To Wyatt Six. Spelled S I C K Six. Oh, I see. There is, is a woman. Yes, uh, that's Nikki Cross playing Sister Abigail. Uh, yep. Uncle Howdy's Bo Dallas, of course. Um, the Buzzard Mercy is uh, Dexter Loomis. Huskus yep. Pig is Joe Gacy. Yep. And that's the only members thus and far. Ram, uh, Ramblin' Rabbit. Ra oh, Ramblin' Rabbit, yeah. Uh, Eric Rowan. Wasn't there, isn't there a lady? Yeah, Nikki, saw, Nikki Cross, I said. Oh, okay. Yeah. And people are thinking, oh, there's going to be another one, right, uh, Alexa Bliss? But a lot of people, and I think this is the correct thing, is that the sixth member is in spirit, Bray Wyatt. Yeah. And honestly, it should stay that way. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't think Alexa Bliss would add anything to that group. 
No, she really wouldn't. But that's it was uh, the way it, they they fucking did that bit at the end oh. of Raw. Brilliant. Ash- Ashley, I just want you to know, Chad Gable is deceased now. Yeah, the Chad Gable is officially dead. He was he was he, dead. he was shown at the end of Raw with a gunshot wound to his forehead. <laughs> Can't get any dinner than that. <clears throat> it's pretty dead. Well, I know he got the fuck beaten out of him by Otis because he was being a fucking bully. Oh no! Like we legit saw him leaned up against one of the cases at the end of Raw with yeah. a freaking bullet wound to the head. But yeah, a yeah. lot of blood on his head right before we saw Uncle Howdy. So wow. yeah. Wow. I figured they would have shown like the exit wound, like use that. Use that fucking They did share a lot blood. of uh, blood. There was a lot of there, blood. There were, there were like at least five or six people, um, but like Gable was highlighted. Yeah. <clears throat> but, well, yeah, apparently several bodies were strewn about, but Gable, as Jay said, was the only identifiable one. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so essentially uh-huh. she is about to pick up. I think it's prudent, prudent for me to hit F5 and save anytime I have 100 health. Just to be sure. Uh-huh. 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 You said prudent. <laughs> I did. I did said prudent. Public service announcement. Reminder for your doggos as summer approaches. Hot pavement. If the air temp is 77 degrees, the asphalt temp is 125. If the air temp is 86, the asphalt is 135. If the air temp is 87, the asphalt is 143. If it's too hot for your it's, bare feet, it's, it's not too my hot ass's fault. Your... <laughs> not my ass's fault. It's not my oh. ass fault that your dog can't wear no dang on shoes. Okay. Scrap. The public service announcement. Don't put your dick in your dick. How would that even work? Well, I, it's I would, what happens when... I would suggest you not try to find out. It's what hmm, happens me, when Pip touch and goes too far. Let me let me see something here. Oh, I made a I made a horsey. <laughs> Ouch. I'm so glad Mike was okay with what I just did. Uh yep, sure. If you wanna, if you wanna balloon animal your penis, that's that's on you, buddy. Oh, oh, oh okay, Mister Man, Mister Mister Fart Man. Thank you. I'm not Billy. I would never and dream of. I would never dream of uh, infringing upon Billy's gimmick. Yeah. Let's see. America, can we fix the roads that we pay taxes for? Government, best we could do is make the roads gay. <laughs> well, technically, they have enough holes. We just want the holes to be filled with something other than hot cock. Hard, hard of me? Nothing, just... Hopes and dreams of a... Pardon me, Pete. God damn it. Dang on it, baby. Ha. Ah. Wow. Frieza really went in from pathetic wow. monkeys to worthless crackers. Grace development wow. in all of things. Where did you History. learn how to try? Where did you learn to fart? Where did um, you learn to be an asshole? I learned it from Mike Riley. Oh. 
Well, that's funny because I learned it from Dane Forgione. I don't. Oh, so we taught each other. Yes. Hmm. Friendship. <laughs> Friendship. Friendship. Again. Friendship. Here comes the friend. Ah, oh, piss on my face with my own dick. Oh, lost a nail. Well, that's left well, the you, uh, Well, if blind you... man peeing into the wind. Well, if you turn your dick upside down, you could literally piss in your oh, face. Oh, for fuck's sake! Let's see. Birds do it. Bees do it. Even uneducated fleas do it. Let's do it. Let's go hurtling into sliding glass doors and die. Well, that took an unexpected turn. Sure, I'll go hurtling into a glass door with you. Jesus, that's morbid. No! Ah, damn it. No! It's gonna auto-switch me. Jace! No. Jace, I just saw the picture you posted. Ain't that a bitch? Which picture? The one about the photographer disqualified from an AI image contest after winning with a real photo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have entered an AI contest because, you know, make real fucking art. Yeah, but I think it would be hilarious to win an AI contest with a real photo. That's, Wait a that's, minute, that's, that's some that's, beautiful trolling. That's uh, cheating. Is it AI? Is it real? You're a big fat phony. You make me throw up my baloney. I'm baloney. Wow. I'm baloney. Leave me alone. So that uh, Nintendo Direct gave us some great memes yesterday. Mm. Memes. So I left that Shambler alive, but I don't. I really do not care. Well, he has to go to do the Gary Shambler show. Why do we make that fucking joke every time we play this game? <laughs> Just... That's literally the second time we've made the joke. This and is you're a, the one who that made is, the joke. That is the third time we've made the joke, sir. Just because you weren't here for one doesn't mean it doesn't count. Well, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know you made the joke another time. Yes, we did. <laughs> Dingleberry. Uh, this is joke the joke that never ends. This is the theme to Gary show. The theme to Gary show. Gary, Gary called me up and said, I'm going to tear your asshole. Damn, man. <laughs> I'm oh, going to tear your asshole. Asshole. Uh, who, who the hell's singing that? Uh, Satchmo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful asshole. <laughs> well, in, in preparation for the Louis Armstrong musical that's coming to Broadway. <laughs> that that's that's not a joke. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a, I was gonna say it's called Wonderful World. And uh, I, I love the uh, parody of that song uh it's, uh Super Mario World. And I think to myself, Super Mario. <laughs> and then I checked myself into a mental health facility for saying weird things. <laughs> Don't know why I said I, it. So weird. I, 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 Don't I hilarious, but most hey, people of our generation were uh, introduced to him by Rugrats. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There we go. You fuck. Uh, we're afraid of Satchmo, the trumpet player. No, the monster. Ooh, Where's the moose, Tommy? Where? 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 There. Ooh, that's a weird-looking shotgun. It's not a shotgun. There at were all. a lot of moose jokes. At least that joke, and uh, when they had the uh, the little pretend circus, and he's like. Boo. I just have one question. I just have one question, Tommy. Why do I always have to be stinky? Ooh, the <laughs> Ring of Shadows. 
Ooh, sounds kinky. Enemies do not perceive me while I'm wearing the Ring of Shadows. So I can lay waste to them. <laughs> and just to end, to, to, to go back to what you said earlier, Ashley, it is not a shotgun, it is a quad nail gun. <gasps> nail <What>? gun! <laughs> I am very happy to get a jump quad on a blade. four. Fuck that. No! No! Aww. Fucking homie. I got a quad laser. It will amaze ya. Nail gun. Nail gun. Say it a third time. No. Ashley's getting a little too into saying nail gun. It's, I've never, I've never seen. Well, I kind of take nail gun before. I've seen a uh, nail gun used in Fallout it Four. Nine inch it nails. A weapon. Yes, yes, it does. In fact, the boxes of nails have the Nine Inch Nails logo on them, as you can see. Oh, get the fuck out of here! That is dope. Yeah, that's because the References. soundtrack. It's because the soundtrack is made by Nine Inch Nails. <gasps> Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor, yes. Trent, Mario World enemy. Yes. <laughs> Introduced by David Lynch, it is the Nine Inch Nails with Trent Reznor. What the what the fuck is your problem? Why are you imitating me? Because it is fun to do. As if I really sound like that. Damn it, you effing... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn it, Eddie, you have lupus. <laughs> Damn it, you fucking hetero. It is Pride Month. That is true. Well, not when this airs. It'll be July when this airs. But <laughs> when when we're recording it, it is Pride Month, yes. It'll be the full Damn it, you fucking lobster back. It is America. Excuse me? The fuck is uh, a lob what is lobster bag? I guess that's red the back coat. of the lobster. Are you that mad about Red Lobster closing a bunch of its stores? Actually, I am a little livid. Yes. She was gonna. She wow. was gonna marry that lobster. No, I mean, Red Lobster is my once a year treat to myself because it's only one time a year that I get to go, and I get like the seafood feast fest with like. I can I just Lobster. can I just give a slightly hot take? Uh huh. Let me guess. There's better seafood than Red Lobster. Well, considering that I'm allergic to yeah. seafood. Um. Also, the fact that Red Lobster is not really like fancy dining. It's, it's Red Lobster. But is the chat? I don't give a fuck if it's not fancy. It's I don't give a, Are you gonna talk about the Cheddar Bay biscuits, bitch? Yes. Yes, <laughs> the, I'm gonna. I am, the Cheddar Bay bitches. I am, <laughs> I am ride or die for Cheddar Bay biscuits. You corn. Yeah, but anybody can love. get those out of a kit. It's exactly. I, anything I, I don't know, but they just the never taste the same the out same. of a kit. The kit's not the same. That's that's it's why you gotta be a bit of a kook and uh, you know <laughs> modify the kit. You know, be be it's your own you, chef. It's either you find someone who worked there and you learn the seat. Like there's someone I knew from work who had the Listen, recipe. Being my own chef does not work out for me. I guarantee you. It just they, makes they it worse. Not, uh, they somehow turn they into do not, they somehow turn into Cheddar Bay poop turds. Well, Mike, if you're if you're actually putting shit into the biscuits, of course it will be. That's what it'll turn into. Shit biscuit. shit biscuit. Look, my whole thing is that you could learn the recipe, but it's not the same. But it's you're not a recipe. They just send them the shit to make them. Like, it's not even a real recipe recipe not, anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not a big fucking state secret that, like, oh, the, the, the Red Lobster like tender made this produced for the, all, all the restaurants. Like. Plus, there's also not very many good seafood places in Indiana, and most of the places you have to go off the beaten path. Like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, the minute you leave a coastline, you're kind of fucked for seafood. 
I mean, I will admit that as somebody who lives on the coast, you know, like, and then if you go into the ocean I've in Boston that. with your legs spread, then you're fucked by seafood. Why don't you go? Why don't you go find a sizzler? Did I? Okay. The only sizzlers that are still in existence are in Australia. I am not traveling that to is, Australia to go to a. That's actually sizzler. that's actually not true. Apparently, and I'm not even. This is a totally legit thing that I'm saying. There's apparently <laughs> quite a few. No ones. reason not to believe it. <laughs> well, I don't know. You might be like, "Oh, fuck you, Dan. You, you're lying about the sizzler." Ah. But there's apparently on the West Coast there's Sizzlers and there's also apparently two in Puerto Rico for some strange reason. Like, I remember Sizzler. I remember that you could do the buffet but that they also had other items. But you know what other what other place that was similar to Sizzler and somewhat better? Ponderosa. You want to, you want to know a really good Place to have Quake episode three yeah. is done. Yeah. We can go right into. Oh the my room. god! You left one person alive. No. He can. Uh, that way, he can tell his friends about me. Oh, okay. So, so I mean, he has not any left. You know. The charred viscera of diabolic horrors bubble viciously this as you sleep. seize the root of hell magic. Its heat scorches your hand, and its terrible secrets blight your mind. Gathering the shreds of your courage, you shake the devil's shackles from, I thought I was going to say nipples, from your soul. <laughs> you shake the devil's nipples. <laughs> and become ever more There's hard. There's the title of the episode. You become shake ever the devil's more haircut. hard and determined to destroy the hideous creatures whose mere existence brands the souls and psyches of all the population of Earth. Yes. Th thank God, I am so thank God the final right boss's now. name wasn't in there for you to have to pronounce. <laughs> it's, uh, Shub... Uh... N -n 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 never mind. <laughs> Shub, nah, 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 nah. He's got the look. That's correct. <laughs> And sent, uh, I didn't bother saving at the end of that because you start over with all, uh, no more, no more weaponry, no more nothing. You just gotta, just gotta do it. Oh, what happened? Shake the, shake the devil's nipples every day. Shake the devil's nipples. Um, well, hang on. Hold on hey, a second. Uh, are we just going to ignore the fucking crucified person up there? Yes. I wonder if... In Fallout, in Fallout New Vegas, you actually do run into people who are crucified on, like, crosses and Shit. power lines. And if you try to cut them down to, like, save them, you'll only end up killing them. Taking oh. care of nipples. Ah, piss. I landed on it and I fell. Taking care of nipples. Working oh, overtime, workout. God um, damn it. Land on the beam, hey, you fuck. Is this... There's a reason I'm doing this. Your worst nightmare come true. There we go. Oh, there you go. John's not going to pay me for the other half of the trailer. <gasps> My worst nightmare come true. All right, so I, I did that. I am not going in there because that's nightmare difficulty. Fuck that jit. I would rather... And what was the point then? Well, the, the, I shot the thing that was in there to open something later. Oh. So I got to take part in a podcast recently that was hosted by Bobcat Goldway and Tom Kinney. That sounds like a hell of a fucking podcast. It was. Yeah. Well, it's for those people who don't know, it's Office Hours Live, and it's normally hosted by, like, Tim Heidecker. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I couldn't get away from the microphone fast enough. My bad. Um, but Tim is out of town because he's, I guess he's filming, a, like, doing a film in uh, Italy. He's doing So that. they have, like, a couple of pre-recorded episodes. But this particular one was live. And they had uh, Bobcat Goldway and Tom Kinney 
come in and kind of like do a, a double hosting gig. And I'm not going to lie, it was one of the most adorable podcasts that I ever got to watch live. Like, they had a Zoom room. So it's like, if you wanted to, you could ask questions. The question I wanted to ask was asked by someone else. But, you know, it was kind of cool because they told stories about when they used to go to school together and when they used to perform together. Uh, Bobcat was talking about, like, pet ducks, because I guess he's got pet ducks. And, like, Tom was just kind of, like, fulfilling the dreams of, like, people in, in like, the, the Zoom audience, because they're like, Oh my god, I grew up listening to you, and you were one of my heroes, and he was really, he was touched. And it was an amazing uh, podcast. He was touched appropriately. Yes. I, I guess, I guess the, the episode that Ashley, that I did with Ashley, which is coming out on the 23rd of June, I guess that was just chop liver then okay so much for so much for advertising that one right out the window hey so. i've almost lost track of it i actually wanted to give you another picture to use but it's like you know what i'm not gonna have uh, i already i already made the picture and it, i thought it was very funny so and and that's why i'm just like you know what he went through all that effort and besides if if anyone gives me shit, it's like, well, what the fuck are you doing with proofs? It's like, it's called an after-show picture. It's called... And just, it's called I do, cuddled why would anybody Daddy. give you shit for being with Greg Proofs? <laughs> I haven't done stand-up comedy in a oh, while. Oh, how dare you I be want... with a hilariously funny person? Like, what? Fuck, fuck you, you piece of shit. Why? What, what? Is that her? Is that a picture of Ashley with Greg Proofs? Get... That's it. I have no more respect for either of them. Uh, that's it. Well, Pass out I've, the almost, I've almost, uh, I've almost kind of like lost respect for Greg, but I understand what he's going through right now. But he's he's going through some shit. What he's going mean? through some big shit. I'm not willing to talk about it on air, but it's just like. Greg, you're getting angry for all the wrong fucking reasons. Well, that's because but, he he posted something pro Israel, and people started to like. Well, what about Palestine? What about the Palestinians? And Greg made the cardinal error of blocking and deleting comments, which opened up the floodgates of. Oh, why are you deleting comments? What the fuck, Greg? And, uh, yeah. It was a whole big shitstorm. It's... <sighs> See, I don't want to talk about this on air. I'd rather talk about it off air. Only because it it's a kind little, I think of it's a little late for that now. <laughs> Well, the problem is, is that it involves people that I know of and people that I know know. Like, it's it's a really, really fucked up situation with everything that's going on. And if anyone really wants to know my opinion of the whole Israel-Hamas war, I'm more for the, the Don't victims. get into it, you know? <laughs> yeah, let, let's, let's not get into it on the show in terms of politics. I... Because there's no way you, you're not going to be able to say anything that everybody's going to like. I was going to say, no matter what you say, there's going to yeah. be a percentage of people who don't like it. Correct. So. I have my thoughts and opinions on it too, but I'm not going to say them on the air because that would be a foolish venture. This mm. could probably be the best way that I could explain it without going into like detail. Think of it in terms of breakfast. You have your pancake people. You have your waffle people. And then you have your genocide and you have, people. And then you have your French toast. There's people. You heard it here first. You know what? French toast is genocide. You know what? I, I respect that. That that's. You respect that French like, toast is genocide. Okay, cool. Nobody take this out of context, please. 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 No, please, Lord. Lord, no, Lord, 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 I am Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's like some people Whoa. prefer pancakes Weird. and hate everything else. Some people prefer waffles but hate everything else. And then some people prefer French toast. I'm one of the people that's like, okay, I like all three. Why are you guys being dickheads? Like, why? It don't make sense. It's like, hit the right side of I know Be the Windows key to secret. I just opened it. Stupid game. Wait, a window? Oh, yeah. you found a secret area. To the window, to the wall, to the switch up down my ball, to all these bitches go. All these bitches go. Oh, 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 we all know the slutty songs of the 2010s. Sure. Here comes the night. It's like, oh! Because the, the night, night belongs That's exactly to what I was thinking. Because the night belongs to us. <laughs> But is this is this the sixty four version or is this a different version? I can't remember. This is uh, the remaster. This is the Night oh. Dive remaster that came out a couple years ago. I was gonna say it looks a little fresh. It, it, it was originally cool. it was originally on PC. The sixty four was a port. <laughs> I'm gonna see you kill a knight with that axe. That rudimentary looking axe that just still looks brutal as well. I would like to not die due to Shambler. Wait a second. Why do you have 666 power? Oh, I'm invincible now. Fuck you, Shambler. Eat my ass. I picked up a pentagram of invincibility <laughs> at some point and didn't realize it. Uh, the Shambler reminds me of John. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. You guys are more than welcome to encourage me nah. to go there too. Nah, well, I'm, you know I'm, what? I'm, we'll, I'm good. We'll, we'll hold hands and we'll skip I'm down good. the promenade. We'll get some flavored ices. His ices, ices. We'll get some flavored ices. God damn it. Yeah. I don't know. Making fun of him is now on the outs for me because yeah, little... we've really done all the, the material we can do about him. I was going to say, there's only so much you can say about yeah. the guy. You can, only, you can only call him a piece of shit so many times before it starts to just, like, be like, yeah, okay, hey, we, we get it. It's whatever. Say it, say it in French. Now say it in sepia uh, tones. How do you say it in sepia tones? In sepia tones? Tone? Yeah. How do you say it in sepia tones? That's a good fucking question. I would like to know the answer to that. <laughs> Myself. Quad damage. Oh, shit. Get fucked so if you find get fucked. And get fucked. So, so I got a quad damage the, and a pentagram of protection at the same time. I am unstoppable. So the quake icon gives you quad damage. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Way to way to just hammer in the. This is a quake game, and look, collect the the logo, and you're gonna do four times the damage, my guy. Four times the stake. Four times the stake. Four times the steak. I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging steak, the look steak, of it. Small amount of peas. I love how clear everything looks. It looks pretty. Like I know yeah. it looks kind of shitty and stuff, but it's clear looking shit. I mean, Night Dive always does a good job on remasters. They did, uh, <laughs> they did the Quake Two remaster. They've done the Star Wars Jedi Forces remaster. Turok remasters no. are all done by them. Now, if only the GTA yeah. remasters looked a little better instead of looking like every pixel character had, like, their eyes open because they had, like, something oh. up their ass. He like, must... oh, yeah. He must have murdered himself. Uh, well, I need the key, so I'm going to get the key. Ooh. Armor. Come and mail this for me. So, it's been a while, boys. How you been? I've been alright. <clears throat> Fine. 
said Ty. Ooh, Get nice hole. Oh, here, for, you, for you. There, I took out the knight. Oh, thank you. That was so nice. I feel blessed. I feel blessed. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I didn't say shove a, a Vietnamese baseball bat up his ass, because do they even make baseball bats in Vietnam? I don't probably. know. Probably. Eh, probably. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the wood manufacturing of other countries like, what do you, is like. Like, what do you want me to say to that? Yeah, could no, they, they they do, but they're okay. they're diagonal. F ah, fuck, fucking bored. Uh, actually, load my quit save. Further along in the quick save. <laughs> they say if you put out gold teeth, gray goose, and then tripping in a bathroom, out for Lord, that she'll come at midnight. And she'll make you royal. That's a lie. I don't know. I will come anytime I want. I mean... But she'll mostly just ask you to, you know, go down to the tennis court and talk it out. Like, yeah. You, go down to the tennis court. Is that a s euphemism? No, it's a song by Lord. She's like... Let's go down to the tennis court and talk it out like, yeah, girl. Quad damage, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Alright, get the key. I, I kind of wish I had a pet. No, ring. not the. God damn it. Ha, get Is fucked. There? I did it anyway. It's not like Ashley said, I wish I had a, a pet Oreo. I, huh? No, I said pet raven. I don't think I could I put... Could, a, I could go for some Oreos right now. I could too, man. That sounds delicious. I'm going to go to Dairy Queen, I think. <laughs> Four <laughs> times the shake! Four times the shake! I've been craving an Oreo Blurry. An, or an, Blizzard. An Oreo, <laughs> an Oreo Blurry? <laughs> mm. I love it when you I hit me in the, I love you when you hit me in the face with chocolatey creamy cookies and it blurs my fucking vision. <laughs> Nothing like a nice McDairy Queen McBlurry. I love <laughs> McBlurries. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mixed up. I had McDonald's for breakfast, so it's like I mixed up an Oreo McFlurry in a Blizzard. Well, that's your mistake. You had McDonald's for breakfast. Yeah, that is a mistake. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't impressed. <laughs> I should have just stayed home and made an egg and ate like some eggs and a grapefruit. I mean, uh, if I'm gonna suffer through fast food breakfast, I'm gonna at least have something decent, like you know, freaking. Wendy's, you know, get that like freaking honey chicken biscuit thingy that they got. Oh yeah, that that thing is actually really fucking good. But the breakfast that I don't mind, like Taco Bell actually brought back their breakfast tacos. So it's not like the burrito and the the breakfast crunch wrap. Like they actually brought that shit back. I'm I'm proud of them. Because if I'm gonna get breakfast, I'm not gonna talk about. I don't know. Never. I got a nerve with the dirt. You got a nerve with the dirt. Meat morp. I like killing. I like exploding things. I like killing hell creatures. I like killing hell creatures. Nothing. There's nothing saying that these are even hell creatures. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe hell is even involved in this game. They're yeah. abominations. That's for certain. They are abominations. I will give you that. They're they're from Florida? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Precisely, guy. 
They are the nation of abominations. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the gun in my mouth. I'm going to close my mouth and chew the gun. It was made of gummy. It's fine. I wasn't going to do anything rash. I wasn't going to become an hero today. I, I wasn't going to unalive myself. My, I wasn't going that gummy to be gun, that gummy gun joke. Many I times. thought we were. I thought we were just saying all the jokes we had over uh, many, many times. This looks like a <laughs> Glock, but no, it's fake. It, yeah, looks, like, it, looks, it looks like a Glock, but it tastes like a cock. <laughs> well, it's pride hey, month. Uh, a gummy cock would be a Glock. A gummy cock? Um, no, a gummy cock. You just need to wash that properly. I think it'd be a cum. <laughs> it'd be a cum. Yes. Right, it... Lord, <laughs> Lord, why? Why am I? Oh, Lord, Lord, because you'll never Lord, be. Lord. Lord, why do you? Why do you do this to me? Because you'll never be go to Grey Goose tipping in the bathroom. <laughs> why did you go vaguely? You went vaguely Irish for a second. Oh, tipping in Grey Goose. Is Lord? Is Lord not Irish? No, uh, she's a New Zealander. Oh, that's right. So she's like, old yeah, 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 I'm Old tooth gray goose tripping in the bathroom. Pooping in the daddy. Lord, Lord, why do you do this? Because you're going to be royal. I don't have a fucking rocket launcher. This is going to suck. All right. This is going to suck oh. my fucking butt. No rocket launcher means I. Through? No rocket launcher means I can't take care of zombies. This just and seems I'm... like something out of a nightmare. What? Yeah. What? Does? Terminator, a robot dog wielding a flamethrower for wildlife control and prevention, among other uses. That that sounds horrifying. It sounds like it sounds like something that the asylum would make. Asylum films. It sounds like the dog dog. through a flame, a company producing said flamethrowers. The dog will help you melt snow, deal with weeds and insects, and whatever else you might need controlled fire for. Oh, the... get fucked, fiend! Why does it sound like this? The, is, this the is dog just has demonic really looking. It's a fucking robot dog with a flamethrower attached to it. Hi, my name is Doug. I just met you, and I love you. I have a flamethrower. I'm going to use it to kill the squirrel. To kill the bad guys. My name's Dog. Flames I, can I reach just, any target 30 just, feet away from the robot. You, and this is crazy. But help me find it's a... Got a laser sight? Why does it need a laser... Never mind. It's for uh, precision flamethrowing. You didn't know? Flamethrowers oh, are yes, legal and does. unregulated in most countries. Chances are we can ship to you. We've done our best to check the laws in most countries. Ultimately, you are responsible for ensuring the possession and or use of flamethrowers is permitted in your jurisdiction. Before ordering, we encourage you to make sure you are operating in accordance with all applicable laws and regulations. All applicable wahs, which is what I thought you were going to say. All applicable all applic wawas. Yes, all applicable baba wawas. Which apparently Indianapolis is getting a wawa. They so apparently cost $9,420. Oh, fuck that. Fucking. Ah! It's fucking yeah, I know, right? No, Over 9000 No, I'm talking about these goop monsters that are. They, they, they tried too hard to cram two memes into one price. Why does that look like demon semen? Because you live in the gutter, apparently. First of all, I do not want to be followed by a fan page. No. That's the one down... No, there's two downsides to Instagram. One, too many fan pages are pretending to be real people, and two, too many fan pages are like, I'm the I'm the the personal assistant to this person and he loves you and I'm like No the fuck you don't 
I just get no, lots of don't. spam messages about, oh, you want to watch me while I finger myself? Put your thick cock in my pussy. I don't that's, get that's any all porn ads get. on freaking Instagram. Yeah. All I get on Instagram is, hi, I am a representative for brand name. Would you be interested in becoming a representative for brand name? Click here. Post stories of drumming, like drummers drumming and some cool shit that I like on my Instagram stories. And all I get are robot accounts. And thankfully, Instagram has been hiding them, but they're just like, come put your cock inside of me or watch me finger my pussy. That's right. That's right, week. Ashley. Put your cock inside of them. Your cock. Look. No. Oh, here's another one. Look at my blowjob. Like, I, no. <laughs> Look at my Look at my blowjob. <laughs> Critique my form. And it's, and it's a woman. <laughs> it's a woman. No shit. And, it's, and it showed up on a, a video that I posted from this podcast where they said the Mothman statue he, people but, uh, are leaving money in its ass crack but, but, does, this, but does he give but does I, he give you a prophecy this is why i've given up on social media for the most part i just shit post well here's my thing i i like some social media because it allows me to like stay in touch with people and it also allows me to also like, that's how most comedians are doing their tours now. Like, when Fred Armisen does his tours, he doesn't post them on his website. He doesn't have a mailing list. He posts them on his Instagram, which I think is all he has. Like, I thought he had a, a, a app formerly known as Twitter account, and it might have been uh, in the past, but someone might have hacked it. I think the episode's over. Yes, it is. What? Thank you for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. And be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune, Jason Amherst, and Ashton Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Au revoir.